Hi, you guys. Um, I know you guys have seen my wife's blog. Um, the last one, she updated you guys on what's going on. Honestly, it's been a really, really rough, rough week for me and my family. Uh, it's been an emotional ride. And I cannot explain, words cannot explain like how much uh, stuff that we're going through with this whole ride. Coronavirus ain't no joke. Honestly, we used to joke around. Me and my uh, little brother, we would like make fun of this virus. They're like, ha ha, coronavirus, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. It's just, you know, you know what they say, like you wouldn't know until it really hits you. And that's what exactly happened with me and my family. Um, update on my mom. She, last time uh, I took her to the hospital, uh, I'm sure you guys know uh, from the last uh, video. So bad news, she tested positive. And uh, ever since, you know, the test results came in, we just been really devastated because it's it's like mentally it kills you. You know, it's that fear mongering, you know, like you, how do you walk around in your own house with masks on? Like, I never imagined that I would, you know, live that life. It's it's crazy. You know, you, you, you see these kind of things in a movie, you know, and then waking up the next day with this fear of you catching it because your mom is in the next room going crazy, uh, going through misery, pain. And it's just like, it's it's really tough and it's it's hard. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. As I'm going through this right now, guys, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's a feeling that I've never felt before. Such a scary feeling, you know, especially your mom. And, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's crazy. Like every hour I wake up just to hear her voice or her breathing because I always think that she might not breathe, you know? In my mind, I'm thinking like, oh shit, is she breathing? I lower my sounds. I, I just like try to stay quiet so I could hear her breathing. That's how intense it gets at night. At daytime, you know, it's it's really nice. It's good. She eats, you know, she's she's on a better um, spirit. She's in a better, better spirit, a better mood. But for some reason at nighttime, she just gets more sick. And, you know, some days it gets better. Some days it just gets worse. So we're just fighting this together with my mom. Honestly, it feels, you know, sometimes I feel hopeless, but I keep myself strong. I encourage my mom to be strong. I tell her like, mom, you know, you're this strong woman. You raised us through hell. This is nothing. This is just another virus that you're going to fight through it. And that's what she's been doing. Um, today is Tuesday. And uh, my mom had a little incident, you know, because she was laying on the couch for the past two days and she was sleepless. She couldn't sleep. So I decided to take her to the room. And... You know, she had an accident because this, this virus is so severe. She accidentally urinated and she obviously had diarrhea. The coronavirus caused people to have diarrhea. And uh, it's it's really, you know, it's so sad to see. You know what I mean? Like the woman that was so healthy a week ago, she's pooping liquid. Just We're just uh, being optimistic and we're going to keep monitoring this situation and see how she recovers. Um... She's on antibiotics right now. She's uh, she's taking z pack and she's taking uh, uh, another sort of antibiotic. Um, it's actually helping her recover. So we'll see in, uh, how things goes. Hopefully, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, just keep us in your prayer. And I uh, pray for everyone else out there that's going through the same battle as me and my family. God bless you all. Bye. So uh, this has been my life for the past few weeks, you know, uh, and hers, my little sister. She's my little assistant. I'm so uh, happy that she's been helping me out. Okay, Mimi, I almost stepped on you. Uh, right now, I'm about to get to cooking because, um, you know, everyone is hungry. I'm going to cook some food for my dad, beef curry. I'm going to cook him some beef curry. Then I'm going to cook us some chicken curry. And then uh, we're going to do some other stuff. Uh, it's going to be incredible because I'm the chef and I'm cooking. Um, 
Yeah, right. I'm gonna help. Yes, kinda. this is our little helper, Mimi. I'm... All right, all right, all right. Okay. Guys, there's a dish that my mom likes, and my dad is so determined that he wants to cook for her. So right now, he's gonna throw it down. All right. I said, all right, you want to cook? Oh, hey. All right, I'm done with my cooking. Look at that. And we'll see how his cooking comes out. He said, oh, yeah, I could cook better than anybody. I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll see about that. I mean, I don't doubt him. I mean, it's my pops, but we'll see. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's cutting onions. <laughs> so I got him cutting onions, guys. Let's see. What, what what happened? What? Why is this knife crooked? <laughs> oh, I don't mind. That, that chopping onions. This is this is what happens when your wife is sick. A man has to throw it down for his wife. That's what you call true love, y'all. My man needs some lotion though. Look at them ashy ass hands. Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you guys keep seeing me in the same kind of shirts. That is because I am rotating my shirts at stay at home quarantine. I'm not about to wear nice clothes all the time, so I just rotate my PJs, wash them, and just keep wearing them over and over again. <laughs> I'm done getting I'm done getting ready. So um this is Apparently this is what husband and wife looks like matching shirts. <laughs> so it is twelve twenty eight. Oh yeah, I even noticed it was your hair. It's twelve twenty eight in the afternoon. It is I'm, Thursday. I'm not, it's April twenty third. I'm over here with these two. Um I know like chat. What is this FaceTime? Papa's I'm really old. Smart. There's Mimi Papa's as you guys know. Papa's really smart. Helping you with my homework. He's just supposed to be teaching you, not helping you with your homework. Is he teaching you or is he doing it? He's doing it. <laughs> no, Anwar, you're not supposed to be doing our homework. You gotta teach her how to do it. Yeah. Because I'm working too and she's over here. Well, then you gotta tell her to, eat, to do whatever she knows and whatever she doesn't know to come and ask you when you're free. I don't know anything. I don't know nothing. Okay, first let's let's take the steps, okay? Or you could watch a YouTube video. Let's, let's get to another money. Okay. These are pennies. I see Hamza in the corner. Yeah. Hamza, all we see is your hair. These are pennies. There you go. Sorry, no. Sometimes, so. Okay. Okay. I just have a deadline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she has, so she has to get her stuff done. And I'm over here and still needing coffee, honestly. Oh, this is not. I still need to make myself some coffee and ah. to get alive. So I'm about to go do that. Um, we just got a call from our mom's doctor and they said that she's going to have to stay overnight at the ICU because of um, her oxygen level is so low. So we can't risk her bringing her home. So we're just going to... Wait, I thought I pour, put gas in. Yeah, it takes a while until it shows. Oh. Um, <laughs> it, you know, we're trying to be strong mentally yeah um we're not trying to let the emotion try get to be positive right now because that's all you can do you can't think of all the ifs and buts just go through this you, you know, know the like hospital will you. take care of your yeah, and loved she's ones in good hands. she is she's a strong woman she's a she fought her whole life she she can get through this this is nothing to her she's a strong woman i know that it's crazy because we're so attached, you know, we're we're all are, you know, attached to our uh, we can't get mom too emotional and dad. Right now. But um, I was kind of emotional. I'm not going to lie. I uh, started having tears because she was saying in Bengali, she's like, like the way she said it, that means yeah, like, like, are I you leaving stay me? And, and that shit just touched my heart. I was like, oh man, damn, my mom. But yeah. I had to be strong. I'm like, ma, you know what? You're going to be fine. Trust me. You're going to be good. We're here. We're going to be here. You know, but it's it's... It is what it is, and we're just gonna have to pray for her. And she's, she's I know, I am confident she's gonna make it yes. out of there, and she's gonna be. Good. And Alhamdulillah, her health has gotten really better. Like it's really good now. 
Never take the risk of having someone at home when their oxygen level is really, really low. Uh, I am so happy and I appreciate my wife for buying the oxygen monitor. Um, it came in at the right time. Today was the perfect time and I, uh, you know, did the oxygen check and you know i'm glad i did that because if i didn't honestly like 61 is not right when your oxygen level at a 61 it's so bad a normal oxygen level should be at 90 uh, 95 or above yeah even 94 is low so i look 94 fat. is the lowest <laughs> all right guys bye lowest. had the energy today to put some makeup on i had a video meeting with uh, colleagues of mine. So this is why I actually dressed up after a long time. This is how I would be in the office. So I definitely miss that going to the office. But um, updates on Anwar's family. His sister's doing much better. I know he was saying that she had symptoms and I know I was saying she was having symptoms, but she has recovered whatever she had. Pretty sure it is what it may have been, but everybody's recovering. She's 16, she's strong, so she got it. She's doing okay now. They fully have been disinfecting the house, cleaning the house. I ordered one of those steamers, so they have been using it to steam the, you know, everything, furniture to floor, to carpet, to like anything possible that you can steam. He's they're steaming. Um, that's one. Secondly, let me give you an update on his mom's status. His mom is doing much better. The doctors have figured out and been able to diagnose her with the bacterial version of this so there's two versions actually there could be three i was reading there's bacterial viral and there could be both where you have bacterial and viral which is crazy severe um luckily she only has bacterial so if you are in the medical field or you just know a lot about science or nurse whatever you will know that bacterial is easier to get rid of versus viral so that's good so she doesn't even have to go on hydrochloroquine she doesn't have to try all, all that out that route is diminished we're going through the normal route of she's taking um azithromycin that's how you say it i think the, the z pack the short version of the that called the z pack that you take when you usually have an upper respiratory infection so she's on that dosage and so far um her white blood level count was at a 12 so the more that you your body has that means you're fighting something right hers has decreased to 10 which is a good sign meaning as in Whatever it is, is, she's not working as hard as she was before. And her oxygen was 63 actually just yesterday. And today it's 96. But she's still going to remain on the ventilator because with this with this um, illness, you keep going up and down. It's never really a constant. So she's going to be on the ventilator till they see a constant progression and that she's kind of stable in that same um, vital. So it's great news, amazing news. Um, bacterial is... Not fun, but it's better than having viral. So we're just really thankful and, and happy. And we thank all you guys out there that have been just really helping us and, and just sending all your positive energy and prayers so much. We, we truly, truly, truly appreciate it. It makes such a big difference to hear optimism. You know, it, it helps the spirit a lot. So it has helped. I've got phone calls after phone calls. He's got phone calls after phone calls. So I can only say thank you so much that all you guys care and it's just so sweet to know that um simple there's nothing more i can say also again want to say thank you to the um, medical workers anybody in the metal medical field even i forget to mention the army um they've been helping so much in different states like new york um and other places so i want to say thank you to you guys if it wasn't for her being at the hospital i can tell you this it would have been hard and we realize that, and I would like to say this, that there's people out there that think they can fight this on their own, and I'm telling you, you can, but if you feel like you're getting worse, you can't, you need to just face the truth. You need to go to the hospital. Don't be in this denial that you can fight this. You need medical help. You need attention, and it's severe. Like, oxygen is nothing to be played around with. Everything, can, you can do damage to your brain, damage to your organs, so please, if you are sick currently and you are watching this, and you may have COVID symptoms or you already know you have COVID in your home and you're not getting better and you just feel crappy, please do me a favor actually and get yourself checked out in, at a hospital. If you can find a really good hospital, I would suggest you go there because sometimes some hospitals are fully booked and they have to treat di people differently. 
Um, luckily, where Anwar's mom is at, she's at one of the, it's called a magnet hospital. So it's a, a elite hospital, kind of, you could say, in that word. So they're doing the best that they can. They give her the best attention that they can. We're just lucky she has a ventilator available to where she's in the ICU, which means she's getting immediate attention. So we're just blessed. But I, I really think that if you have any problems and you think you can fight it, that's fine. But you really should be realistic with yourself. Don't be in denial. There's so many people that I'm reading that think they can fight this and they stay at home and then unfortunately they don't make it. So please, I'm like asking you, like begging you if you have, you honestly feel some type of way, just take yourself. Nothing will happen to you. Like I know there's stories of people that go to the hospital and they pass away, but that's also because maybe they're coming in and going in at a very severe time like they're they've already damaged so much so before it gets worse take yourself in like seriously take yourself in if Anwar and his family had not made the decision to take their mom that day it could have been way worse for them the doctors literally the nurse said today that she's doing much better than a lot of other people are in the way that her condition is and the way that she is because of the way that she had come in she wasn't that bad so that's amazing so I'm just wanted to give you guys that information as well I guess and just vent that I, I, I just care for everybody out there and I want the best for you guys, so please, <laughs> listen. Um, besides that, I'm going to wrap this up for this week. I will see you guys in like another vlog probably, so this week will be this vlog. I'm done. Hopefully I'll have better news for um, next week's vlog. I talk a lot, so I'm trying to learn to not talk so much. <laughs> uh, as you guys may have seen, Anwar has taken over the vlog this week, which is great because it's mainly his family but I want him to be more active so per comment down and let Anwar know that he should keep doing what he's doing because he needs a little you know pep talk and to feel good and to be motivated so motivate him to keep doing what he's doing guys okay okay or just text him or just leave him an Instagram oh wait he's private so you can't really do that but just text him if you know him and just leave a comment what's up guys um <sighs> I know, uh, my last video, I told you guys that I took my mom to the hospital and uh, yes, uh, she's been admitted to the ICU. Currently, she is getting all the treatment that she needs. Um, the doctor said that they found the infection on her lungs, which spread across her lungs and she had to be on a ventilator. And, you know, we are praying and hoping that she recovers from this. So far, the doctors and nurses have been really, really nice, and they have been keeping us informed with all of this. Um, it's been two days, and you know, mentally, emotionally, it's really rough. Uh, being at home, just constantly thinking about your mom, you know, it's it's not an easy thing, and I'm sure. A lot of people that are going through this battle can relate to this. Keeping myself busy doing things like that, it's been helping me being uh, strong. Um, you know, I can't, I can't let myself down. So I have to, I have to be strong for my brothers and sisters. Um, you know, my dad is also sick, but his, uh, his illness is different. My little sister has some COVID symptoms, which is, you know. Um, not fun but uh you know we're, we're trying to be optimistic as much as we can life gotta move on you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta keep your head up and do the best you can at that moment god bless you all thank you for watching this video it means so much to me that you're taking the time out to get to know me don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe you are keeping me going, and if you guys like what you see, you know what? Leave some positivity. I'm always open for that. Until next time, have a great day, guys. Bye.